Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel lookup series that is running into my channel. Friends today in this video we are going to learn how to use the indirect function in a nested form of VLOOKUP function and search for a dynamic lookup table. So here we will use two table data and I will describe you briefly in this video. Please watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritam, and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. And after the video ends, please check the description box there. You will find the link of the Excel data file which I am using in this video. So without wasting any time, let's get back to the point. So at first we are going to know what is the purpose of this formula. This is to allow an easy way to switch table ranges inside a lookup function. One way to handle is to create a range for each table needed, then refer the named range inside a VLOOKUP formula. However, if you just try to give VLOOKUP a table array in the form of text, the formula will fail. The indirect function is needed to resolve the text to a valid reference. So what we are going to do here, we are going to search for a table for a same lookup value. So the formula in G5 will be like this equals to at first we are going to use the VLOOKUP formula then it is asking for lookup value and our lookup value will be in this cell that is a5 then put a comma here now here as the table array we need to use the indirect formula that is this one so type indirect then it is asking for a reference text and our reference text you can see here we have given the table number here from b4 to c6 that is the reference of this table you can type this also here or you can just set your table reference into another cell and select their cell and whenever you change anything in the cell it will be changed the result automatically so you will no need to change the formula again right then you have to close the bracket here put a comma now it is asking for column index number as the table we have given b4 to c6 that is this one so according to this table we are searching for this value so our column index number will be number 2 put a comma here we are using the exact match function so we are giving number 0 here close the bracket and simply hit the enter button look at here as it is red it is showing you 5 result here and if you copy the formula from upside down it will show you as 10 and if you change the name here like I have done it will show you the result accordingly and if you suppose change this table reference from here it will be changed automatically right so let's check how this formula actually works at the core this is a standard VLOOKUP formula the only difference is the use of indirect to return a valid table array that we have given here in this example shown we have selected two table here as you have checked here right we have two table here this table 1 refers to b4 to c6 and table 2 refers to b9 to c11 indirect picks up the text in e5 that is the table name and resolves it the named range table 1 which resolves to b9 to c11 which is returned to vlookup vlookup performs the lookup and returns the result as we have typed green it has returned as 6 note carefully named range that is this one actually create absolute references like if we give the dollar symbol and lock our references but I have omitted the absolute references syntax to make the description easier to read 
So that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video and learn something new about dynamic formula in a lookup value. Please share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section. Share this video with your friends who wants to learn Microsoft Excel in advanced level from the beginning level. I will come back soon with another interesting video. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and stay tuned.